Let's continue with the recursive step. When the to do queue is not empty, so right. So if it's not empty, we need to pop that note from the to do list, right? So for each note, they are considered. So if this note not being visited yet, so then we marked the neighbor as visited. So then you need to go all the neighbor. To see, you push the neighbor index into the result queue, and you need to push the note index into the to do queue. So that's why you see your to do queue have more note in there. So we need to process all the to do notes or、uh, to do the note in the to do queue to do that. So that's why when you see you push all the neighbor into the to do list, right? So we just need to continue until they finish. So if we still have any notes in the to do queue, they are there. We just need to pop this note out. Then we check the each note from this note's neighbor. If the neighbor note is not being visited yet, then you need to mark them visited. Then you push to the result queue and to push to the to do. However, if you see this neighbor already been visited, okay, we just skip. So then we go to the next one. So that's why from this recursion step, you will see if the neighbor already been visited. So that's why they won't be pushed to the result queue again. So then they will just be skipped. So after what you see in your result queue, they will only have order. City can connect it to they being at one time. So actually, this example I already give you the source file. So that's why I want you to run the source file and to see what's going on. And actually, this one is your lab exercise for fifteen part one. So you can download two files. The first one, of course, I want you to download the demo CPP file first. So this one I only give you the driver program main function and the empty your function prototype. So when you see your BFS demo dot cpp file, I want you to see right here you will see the queue. BFS search function actually is an empty. You have your result queue, but those things you need to fill it out. But here you can see here is the driver program. The driver program. The first thing they still need to read on、um, get from the text file to build up the database. But you already go went over that, right? So that's why here when we start working on that until here, until line eighty three, that's just build up the database. That's you already finished in the previous video. So then here, right? So what do we run this program? They will do is while true, we just ask the user to enter a star city. So then you were looking for searching for the star city. Where is the index? So then you see here we just call the BFS. We call the BFS function. So then you will get your result queue. So then as long as the result queue is not empty, we just display all the nodes they can travel from the star city. So I want you to try to see this one and understand first. So then, actually, after I give you this one for the demo file, but also since this week you have a lot of thing to do, so your job for the lab exercise fifteen is not to complete your BFS demo file. Instead, after you understand that, I already give you the solution file. So your job actually is to understand now. You have your you understand the algorithm, right? So now I want you to read through that to see from the pseudo code we showed you earlier. So now when you implement into the BFS that CPP file, so does those thing make sense for you? Like earlier we say, the first beginning you need to have your database is visit equal to false. So then after we got the star city, so we just set that's equal to true. So we push the star city into our result queue and the to do queue. So then you see here the recursion step. So while the to do, while the to do, 
Q is not empty. So then you will see we need to pop from each one. Then use their neighbor to access the node. So each it from the neighbor's list. So then we just need to see since the it is index, we dereference that. If this node is not visited, then good, we just set equal to true. So we can push to the result and to do Q. Otherwise, if this node already be visited, then I just don't need to do anything. So that's your BFS search recursion recursive function. But they are kind of using different way to do the recursive function. Instead, instead to call the function again, they just using the Q to pop that from the Q. So that's your job. Not only understand that, I just uh, you don't have to implement this one because this week we have a lot of things to do. So the most important thing is I want you to make sure you understand how to do the recursive uh, function using the Q. And the next one we will do the DFS. We will using the stack. So you can try to after you understand, try to run the program. So you will see here, uh, for example, we ask you, the user say, enter the star city. So we just, we have San Francisco. So we just type San Francisco. So then you will see here, oh, sorry, my screen doesn't big enough. So that's why your BFS search start from San Francisco. Actually, they have so many nodes on uh, they all can travel to. So that's why we say your result actually just show all the city from san francisco you pass you can travel to but this link the older or the order for the city actually doesn't match it it just show all the city you can travel to so you can either run the program uh, so you also can see from the powerpoint file you have the sample output so after you have this bfs search Actually, the next one, the DFS search, kind of the similar, but the other thing is we instead we're using the queue, we're using the stack. So let me go back to see in the graph we show you. It, remember earlier the BFS search, I just start from my neighbor, then from neighbor I spread out. So that's why we say the bread first. But when we do the DFS search, we do the dip first. So that's mean here is what I have the note. I don't process yet. I just continue to go, continue to go, continue to go. So that's why here you will see earlier we're using the queue for the BFS search. So then actually the when we consider it's DFS, right? Yeah, I see queue first in, first out. So when we do the dip first, we just need to do a first thing, first in, but last out data structure to store our to-do list. So that's why here you will see the same thing for the BFS search. That's our function prototype. You still have your queue is the return. You still passing your star note. You still have your database pass. But one thing is your queue is your result to return back but your to-do actually become a stack instead of the queue. So that's why the order is different. So that's why they do the DFS search first. So after you see this um, prototype function, so you can understand the pseudo code here now. So the same thing, after you have your to-do list, right? You still need to initialize all the nodes in the database set to not visited. So then you will push your star note, the index, into your to-do. So then since your to-do has one node now, right? Good. So you see your recursion is here. The same thing still is while the to-do list is not empty. But before our to-do is queue, but now it's stack. Okay. So then as long as it's not empty, so then we just continue. You see you pop the node index from the to-do list. So then the same thing, if this node not been visited yet, okay, so good. So we mark their visit. Then we need to push this node index into the result. 
So then you see again for all the its neighbor. Okay. So then for all the neighbor, if this neighbor is not being visited yet, so then you just need to push them into the to do. So that's why here they will continue to finish all the neighbor. So then they will push to the to do. So once your to do is not empty, then we still continue to continue to for the recursion. So then after they finish, they kind of they still have the same output, all the city, the same as the BFS search, but the order will be different. So this one actually after you understand the BFS search, now you just need to kind of change the order a little bit and change it to do from the queue to stack. So this one actually is your lab exercise 15, your part two. So again, the same thing. I already gave you the complete file. So this one here we show you. Uh, so one thing is when you using the DFS search, you will change from your BFS search. But one thing is when you visit the user, you need to do the reverse iteration because we do the first in last out. We want to do the go to the end first. So that's why we do the reverse version. So when you do the iteration reverse, actually you just need to do the from the end. So now equal to the begin. So then here the same thing. I have the DFS, the complete solution file already. So what you need to do is download and to run through that. Yeah, so after you download the DFS.cpp file, so you will see the node chart still the same. But you change from BFS to DFS. The passing parameter kind of the same, return type the same. But the only thing is your to-do should be a stack. So you still need to make the order visit is false. So then when we start actually just push the first node into the queue first, to the stack first. So then why they are not empty? Okay, good. So you still need to pick. So then we pop that. So if this one is not being visited yet, so good. So we make that true. So then we push that to the result. So then before we push that to the to do, actually we need to check is all the neighbor. Right? So you still have your neighbor according to your eye. So then your neighbor now, be careful, just we do the reverse iterator. So the reverse iterator, they will start from the reverse R begin. So then you will see the while loop. <coughs> yeah. So if they are the reverse iterator, so if they are they will start from the reverse begin. So then they are not equal to the reverse end. So since you use the reverse, they are still plus plus. So then if this one is not visit yet, so good. So we just push that in. So that's why later you will see while you are not the stack is not empty. So they just continue with the recursive step. So the most important thing, I want you to run this program to see here, the same thing you see, we start from San Francisco. Okay, so that's why you will see here. So there still have the San Francisco, but then you will see Maybe they are not with the same um order as we have before for all the node, but all the CT they should be the same when we're using the BFS search. So that's true solution file also is your lab exercise 15. For the lab exercise 15, you don't have to submit anything, but you have to understand slowly how these two files are being wrote then you be able to do moving forward to the cheapest route and shortest route. That's for our assignment 15.